We've seen all the devastation out there. The impacts of Ian can be seen throughout the state of Florida and tonight in Hardy County. Neighbors are dealing with flooded roadways and neighborhoods as well. Uh, 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell joins us in Wachula and shares what she's seeing there now. Now we are in Wachula just off of US 17 and this area is flooded out. People tell me that they have never seen this road quite like this. Folks who've lived here their entire lives say the area does flood but never like this. There are tadpoles swimming around my feet right now and there was a man who was walking through this water earlier today. He told me he was just trying to cool off. He's not able to access his home yet because he lives in an RV camp and he says they're not allowing anyone back onto the property yet. So he's been staying in a tent behind the Circle K. Now that same gentleman told me that he's tried walking out a little farther back here near that horizontal sign. He says he thinks that sign is about 10 feet high. Look at where the water is. He says once he even gets close to it, it's well above his head, just swallows him up. Now our Megan Myers has been out in the community with me. She's been speaking to families who've been impacted by this storm in a different way, not necessarily by the water or the wind, but by fire. You'll have that story tonight on Nightside. In Wachula, Miranda Parnell, 10 Tampa Bay.